We're here in Coconchobee Park today on the Riverwalk because uh, we just completed a critical part of this new project. This construction project is replacing a very critical wastewater pipeline. The existing pipeline carries about 15 million gallons per day of wastewater, which is about 25% of the total wastewater generated in the city of Tampa. And this existing pipeline goes down the very middle of Harbor Island. It was built in 1951, which is now 70 years old and past its useful life. If that pipeline were to fail, it would result in a wastewater overflow, which could adversely impact the residents of Harbor Island and the Tampa Bay Estuary. It starts in Coconchobee Park here with a 65 foot deep shaft and 3,000 foot tunnel to Port Tampa Bay. And it goes underneath Garrison Channel, underneath the Beneficial Bridge, and underneath Seddon Channel to the port. Good news is we're about ready to open the park now. It'll probably take another two more weeks. And then we can finish the very final phase of this $83 million project which will happen early February after the Gasparilla events. And we're gonna be working in South Franklin Street at Water Street for about four months. And at the conclusion of that, the pipeline will be active through the tunnel. We really appreciate people's patience during this time. And it's really you know, a good thing for the residents now and for future generations to help sustainability and resiliency for the city of Tampa.